You know, fine. It, I'm I'm putting my foot down. This is a Daniel Ricardo hate account. Hey everyone, it's John B. And I'm with Dex. What's up? And today we're watching a Drive to Survive, the Formula One Netflix show. We're watching episode two. So it just came out, so we're trying to get through this before the season, the Formula One season kicks off here pretty soon. All right, we'll learn a little more about the other two. It's cool. A nice building. Yeah. It's like fucking like Avengers compound. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought too. What a downgrade. <laughs> you know, fine. It, it, I'm, I'm putting my foot down. This is a Daniel Ricardo hate account. I'll allow it, honestly. I'm going to tweet it. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, production team, please put that on screen. <laughs> Follow the Apollo Formula One account on Twitter as well. We're going to be doing this all season. Watch parties, breaking news, all that stuff. Tap in with us. Yeah, once the uh, season gets going, basically every basically every, uh, sh every race we'll, we'll have a, a live stream going on. So even at 6 in the morning, 7 in the morning, we'll, we'll try to make it work. Because it's all about drive. It's all about power. We, we stay hungry. We devour. Put in the work, put in the hours. You take take what's out. ours. Black and Samoan, my veins. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like like neutral good Ted Cruz. <laughs> neutral good. <laughs> it's so crazy to hear the talk about him making seven time Grand Prix winner. Right. And then Lewis has won world. seven time world champion. A <laughs> little, little bit of scale. A little, there little for difference. You. Yeah. Hey, bro, Will Buxton might be on my list because he was talking crazy about Lewis Hamilton and Mercedes in the first episode. Now here he is carrying water for McLaren. He's never done anything for anyone. So I'm watching you, Will Buxton. Safe to say he's not invited to the cookout. Safe to say. Do you see how big he signed that dude's yeah, book? Yeah, I'm not. Took a whole I'm not just, dude. Just, this guy sucks, man. <laughs> He's that chick in your high school who signed your yearbook page on just an entire fucking page. Chico. Sitting sideways. People might assume that parachuting in a race-winning driver, one of the best in the sport, would be a guaranteed route to success. But it's really not that simple. That's all. Countless examples. Big name signings. That big name being their poster boy for the future, but it's just not working out. They, they are petty for that. <laughs> they didn't have to show Vettel like that, but they are they are petty. That Aston Martin green is just nice. So dope. Wait, to me, man, that that McLaren orange it can't be beat. I wish they had, you know. Yeah, no, that little... Aston Martin green, that Ferrari red is. Uh, I'm living for that. <laughs> I wish McLaren had a little drivers that were easier to root for for me personally, but you know, their look is incredible, and their their merch, the merch that McLaren has, some of the best in the game. Watching this, I can't help but think that maybe F1 would take off more in America if like. They weren't all wearing Puma, you know what I'm saying? We're not really a Puma country. We don't really do that. No, not any, we really aren't. Yeah. I remember when Puma like first really came on the scene back in like the 2000s. I was like, man, Puma's kind of fire. And then after a while, I was like, it's not. Yeah, we don't, we don't really do that. They're trying to get into like the NBA and stuff like that, but nobody's really paying attention. We are, we're some Nike boys over here. You know, we got some Nike, Adidas. Jordan, yeah. Adidas, Reebok. Like, yeah, if they were wearing... Like they're wearing like Tommy Hill figure and they're wearing Puma and stuff like that. If they were wearing polo we're and just, Nike. We're not rocking with that. They were wearing polo and Nike, they'd blow up over here in the States. And yeah, like with baseball, you know, the teams are spending so much different amount of money is but you're still like trying to win the whole the one championship. This one you can be like, We're not we're never gonna spend as much money as Red Bull or Mercedes on our car. So we don't expect to beat them. But getting third place, beating the rest of you bums, that's great. <laughs> Incredible for us. Yeah, it's like a, a small market team in baseball saying, oh, we just don't have the capital to spend as much as these teams and, and attract the best free agents. Like, wow, like they, you can't say that in those sports. 
you either win or you don't. But if you say in that Formula in your sport, one, like you're in your in baseball, like no one's gonna want to go to you. Yeah. Walk him down. Walk him down. DRS me, baby. <laughs> Can you imagine just hearing from like an NFL quarterback like during the game? Like, yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> like after a big throw. Right. I guess that'd be equivalent to, uh, you know, maybe like Andrew Luck when he was taking all those hits and being very positive about it. <laughs> hey, great hit, man. <laughs> See, they was talking shit about Vettel being the big name signing and then this man come out here looking trash. Love, love the foreshadowing on their part. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're skipping through these races now. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. That's some other dude coming up like, what's up with your boy? <laughs> Get your man. Why EP16? <laughs> I'm relishing in this. Yeah, my heart's not broken, actually. This is some, this is some quality content here. <laughs> <laughs> Is his name actually Lando? Yes. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah, sick name. That's dope as fuck. Like you're, if you're a parent, you have one job. Give your kid a cool <laughs> name. I assumed Lando was a nickname for something, but no. That, that's dope as fuck. In post, we gotta find the picture of that despicable me dude. I don't know his name. The skinny and just put, dude. And just put them side by yeah, side. With the orange jumpsuit on. We gotta put them side by side so people can see what I'm talking about. I'm so certain. He looks just like that dude if he was older. Dude, I would love for there to be like a Houston race. Yeah, man. <laughs> like our streets are wide enough for it. Might as well. Uh, he doesn't fix a lot of piles, but you know. I respect that. Fair. That's what was very fascinating about this sport to me whenever I first started watching. It's just like, you're a team, but also like, it, not really. Yeah, it's like, you gotta get yours, kid. Like, hey, kid. You're supposed to be the good one. I'm out here killing you. I might, I might be becoming a Lando Norris fan, honestly. He's kind of cool. His name is Lando Norris. That's just dope. Go on, Lando. This boy get cooked. That's gotta be terrifying. Though. I mean, I guess you get used to it after you do it so many times, but like, I I would. I mean, I hate driving in tight spaces, <laughs> let alone that fast on that on those streets like that. I'm good. I'm good on that. Yeah. All my Marvel fans, you'll remember the Monaco Grand Prix from Iron Man Two, when. <laughs> What's his face? Whiplash showed up and beat the fuck out of Tony Stark. Oh wow! Damn. Serena. Beat two. Way to pick up your team. Hmm. We're gonna pick up your teammate. Yeah. <laughs> I almost drafted Lando for my uh, for my fantasy team this year. Yeah. He's, but he was pretty uh, he was pretty expensive. So I was like, I really wanted Hamilton on my team, so I'm, I'm I gotta make some sacrifices here. Hamilton is my guy, but I think Lando Norris is becoming my second guy. Hamilton's my guy, and Sainz is my Sainz is my number two guy. Okay, I can respect that. Hit the comments down below. Let us know your guy and your second guy in Formula One. Yep, what do you do? It's coming down, I promise. And then my girl is uh, the girl from Abu Dhabi in uh, F3 right now. She, okay. came, she came across my TikTok feed this morning. And I was just like, who is she? I saw uh, Lewis Hamilton posted for International Women's Day. He posted somebody down in Abu Dhabi. I can't remember her name it's, right it's now. It's probably her then. Like, yeah, I, let's go. More women in racing. Let's get it. For sure, that's frustrating. So this one has thrown us a curveball. I think holding on to third is going to be very tough. Sound a little shook, buddy.
Oh shit. R.I.P. Williams. Williams. We're getting some Williams content, baby. Well, George Russell action. I'm ready for my new son. Okay, so that's the end of episode two. What are your thoughts? I I'm I'm becoming a Lando Norris guy. I think I think I'm in. I'm in on Lando Norris. He seems cool as shit. Looks like a young kid having a good time out here and kicking Daniel Ricardo's ass. And uh, I'm I'm with you. I'm I'm becoming a Daniel Ricardo hate account. I'm not all the way there yet. I'm a Daniel Ricardo dislike account sure. right now. But like I'm I'm leaning towards hate. I'm like so hey, yeah, I'll, I'll admit hate's a little bit of a stronger word, <laughs> but I just I don't see the appeal behind him. He has he's not that good and uh, I think it's more of his just cocky persona that just kind of drives me up the wall. Yeah. But uh no, he's not he's not my he's not my guy. We never will be. He seems and, like uh, the guy who like he should be cool and funny. But he's, he's just not. It's but then when you're not. But then when you're not good, it, does, it doesn't play up well. <laughs> yeah. If you're good and it plays up, then it, you're doing amazing. Yeah. If he was out here winning, you know, winning a bunch of grand prix and shit, then like all of his jokes and his corniness would like work for him. But it's not. It's not. It's not coming off when you're getting lapped by your teammate. <laughs> That's enough, uh, Daniel Ricardo hate. But in my opinion on the episode, really nice to see the um, kind of like. B tier, or I guess A tier, if you consider Red Bull, Mercedes, the S tier. Yeah. So there's kind of seemed like the nice A tier of McLaren, uh, Ferrari, and as someone who has mentioned several times on this episode that I'm a big Carlos Sainz fan, uh, yeah, it's nice to get some more content of him. Yeah, and also I love getting to see Monaco like up close and personal like that. Monaco, like I said, my favorite race of the year. It got that's the race that got me into Formula One actually. I saw the Monaco Grand Prix. It was on like in the middle of a Rockets game, a Rockets playoff game that I was too stressed to like watch fully. So I was just flipping back and forth between Monaco and that Rockets game and like watching like the driver helmet cams like, yeah. of them driving through Monaco. I was like, this is the coolest shit ever. I've been a Formula One fan ever since. So watching Monaco up close and personal like that, top notch. So I want to go ahead and walk through my uh, Formula One fantasy team real quick just to share that with you all because. I don't care the season. My team will be locked in here pretty soon, so I'm not worried about uh, it changing or anyone like knowing my strategy. So that said, so how it works for those I don't know, uh, you're giving one you're giving 100 million dollars by fake money, of course, and each team is worth a certain number, and each driver is worth a certain number. And you choose five drivers plus a team, all for 100 million dollars. So I chose Lewis Hamilton, number one overall pick. Uh, he he cost thirty one million, yeah, rightfully so. Worth it. Uh, and then I re I chose Mercedes at first, which is like thirty four million dollars. So I was like sixty four million gone, and I had nothing but scrap drivers left. So I I did some shuffling around, and uh, I got initially drafted Vettel, but didn't I couldn't afford him, so I had to drop him for Stroll. <laughs> uh, I chose Botas. I'm, I really hope he pulls it together. Uh, he was also he was cheap. And then, <laughs> shocker to no one, I chose Carlos Sainz. And then I got Albon as my, my fifth driver because he was also pretty cheap. And my team, Ferrari. I chose Ferrari, Ferrari because it gave, me, it gave me the capital to get Sainz dropping from Mercedes. That, that saved me like an extra 10 to $12 million. I was like, all right, this is what we're going to go with. So that's my throughout the season you like score points when they score points or... yeah i think i honestly i don't know how the rules work but i think basically <laughs> you know based off their their polling positions at the end of the each weekend you know i get points for them i'm sure it's like somewhat changed to make it smaller values who knows uh but then i chose carlos signs as my uh, double driver so basically whatever points he gets i get double okay um that's pretty much it and i'm just gonna roll with this team for i made a, a two team just for the hell of it um, Charles Leclerc, Gal Galando, Pierre Gasly, Stroll again because he was cheap, and then George Russell. All right, and all I'm right. pretty sure I don't remember. Actually, don't remember what what team I chose for this one. It was probably probably McLaren if I had to guess. But yeah, those are my fantasy teams. That's what's up. That's also the end of episode two for Apollo Reacts. I didn't even see the name of the show at the beginning. I think I did. Maybe I didn't. It's been a long episode. <laughs> Either way, thanks for checking us out. Be sure to like and subscribe and comment and all that good stuff. You've been on YouTube before. You know how this works. Thanks for checking us out. I'm Dex. That's John B.
follow us, follow at Apollo, yeah, follow us. one, and we're out of here. See ya.